30 miles off the coast of the main island of Fiji is a little island called Mackinac. Isolated in the middle of what's called the Bly Waters, where Captain Bly sailed his little ship through the Fijian Islands. Mackinac used to be a leper colony, but about 15 years ago, it got a new lease on life. It got a new mission, and that mission is to be a clam farm. Giant clams have all but disappeared in nature in Fiji, uh, taken by villagers, taken for their shells, taken by almost everyone. There's hardly any giant clams left on the reefs naturally. But the giant clam farm is hoping to change that. At the farm, broodstock, big mature clams, some as much as two to three hundred pounds, are placed in spawning tanks and eggs and sperm produced in order to make fertilized eggs. Millions and millions of eggs are made. And in a year, it's gotten to be about an inch long. These, these little flutes help it stay in the, in the sediment? Yes, so, so that uh, they still keep on growing. And it's very soft. Very soft. Very soft. And it begins to actually have a dual phase of its life. It begins to not only pump seawater for food, but it also begins to photosynthesize, gather sunlight and use it with algae that live inside its mantle to power extra growth. And after three or four years, it's big enough to go back on the reef. This is how old? It's uh, four years. When we put that in the ocean, to the reef, it grow more faster from okay. the reef. Okay. Yeah. Clams that are only eight to ten centimeters long can still be eaten by octopus and, and crabs and even parrotfish. And so the clam farm attaches them to big iron frames that sit at the bottom of the bay. And they grow up to this size, then we can uh, deploy them around this side. And the clams sit there photosynthesizing and filtering the water and growing and growing till they're big enough to survive on their own. Now they can't be just put anywhere, they have to be protected. And so these clams are destined for local marine managed areas around Fiji. Marine protected areas where the clams that have grown up on the farm can live out the rest of their lives and grow to their normal size. So we just take the clams where they put their reserve. We have to see the reserve first before we take the babies. Once they're on the reef and grow to their normal adult size, they'll spawn and complete their own life cycle and repopulate the reefs around them so that in the future Fijian reefs can have their giant clams back. <laughs>